Welcome back to the channel guys crypto lightsaber back again with another video and um, we're going to talk about one inch and BNB because it turns out that one inch is migrating to the Binance smart chain okay so that's going to be good for one inch and it should also be good for BNB so we're going to take a quick look at these charts and find out exactly what's going on okay in terms of price action okay so um, if we start with one inch you can see that one inch has broken out of a descending triangle okay it's broken out but it is facing some uh, resistance and of course we expected a rejection at the MA25 close okay right over here on this purple line right there okay so now we're just waiting to see whether this is going to tumble back down and maybe kind of retest these areas down here before it moves up but I believe that there could be an upside target of anywhere um, close to the previous high um, potentially okay and um, we can see the volume is increasing and coming back in on that and if we go back to the four hour you can see that volume has increased okay guys and we have you know broken through these moving averages um, if you look even you know the seven day close uh, we are we are above the seven day moving average okay so I think that you know with, with the hype that's going on in the market and if Bitcoin can stabilize I think that this has room to run of course we are looking at the BTC pair so that has to be considered as well all right guys but in terms of uh, price action it's looking good for one inch and of course like we just spoke about with the news about the migraine over to the Binance smart chain that's going to bring a lot of more a lot more eyes over to one inch of course now these exchange tokens are the ones that are really doing it at the moment okay so I've got my eye firmly on these things like this things like sushi swap cake and uh, you know obviously uh, with uh, Ethereum uh, on Uniswap. Okay, Uniswap is not going away, right? Ethereum is not going away. So let's just get that out of your head um, to start with, okay? But right about now, with all the fees, the high fees, there's definitely uh, less of an incentive to use Uniswap at the moment, okay? As long as Ethereum is, is creating these high fees, um, there's going to be people looking for alternatives, all right? Um, if we look at BNB, okay, uh, it does look like BNB is finding some resistance against this new resistance line that has been formed, okay. But if it does break out of that, I think it might be good to take a position. Remember, this is not financial advice, by the way, okay. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and make your own decisions when investing in cryptocurrency and all that sort of stuff. But if it does break uh, above this level, okay, and we get a close above that on the one hour, uh, most definitely on the four hour. If we can get a close above this level, I would say that, you know, it should be poised for a little bit of a move, at least to this resistance level over here. So let's just do a measured move, actually. Um, let's get a horizontal line on that. Now, these horizontals, these support and resistance lines are really playing out well, you know. So just make sure that you, you, you kind of clued up on what you're doing when it comes to support and resistance, okay? So... This is the level that we're looking at between this range at the moment. But obviously, if we get a break through this, uh, you could see a potential move to the upside. Um, let's see, if we went from the breakout level, okay? Looking at about 10%, okay? But if it can catch momentum with everybody looking at Binance, you know, um, going crazy on Binance, right? Um, and with, and with the news, like I said, with the news, with one inch as well, okay, then I, you could see that this uh, begin to retest at the previous high as well. So obviously, if it made it to target number two, you're looking at approximately 20 to 25%, okay, and um, if that can get some momentum and move to the upside, okay. Now, Binance is another one that's not going anywhere. One thing that I will consider uh, with the Binance Smart Chain is uh, because the fees are so low, it doesn't incentivize people to hold a lot of BNB, okay? But obviously with BNB, the BNB price moving and going crazy all the time, obviously that incentivizes you to hold BNB because, you know, you're getting the upside gains on the price action and you're getting the low fees when you're trading these other altcoins on PancakeSwap and, you know, all these other different swap exchanges that are coming up on the Binance chain. All right, with Ethereum, because the fees are so high, it does make people have to hold a little bit more Ethereum, you know, in order to cover their gas fees and stuff like that. So like I said, with the low fees, you might not think like, I need to hold a lot of BNB, you know, when I'm using pancake swap and stuff, really, I don't even hold more than 0.5 BNB in there, like half a BNB, 
okay and that lasts forever right because the, the 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 fees are like fractions right and bnb is like even now 228 dollars reached a peak of around 400 dollars all right just under 400 dollars probably 380 dollars it might have gone a little bit more but yeah that's something to consider with the binance coin okay uh another thing we did actually talk about Fala the other day uh because Fala went absolutely nuts okay and one thing i actually noticed last night is it has listed a btc pair on binance okay now i didn't know why it went crazy on dex tools okay because uh, I, I didn't see an announcement for this or anything all right now Fala is one that we've been talking about for well we haven't been talking about it consistently but i have covered it two or three times on a channel you know and um, with its privacy and it being launched on a polka dot network it did look like a little bit of a standout player on the polka dot network and um we did invest in this okay but we did take profits prematurely on Fala, evidently okay because one thing i didn't forecast was it being listed on a centralized exchange like binance and as you can see this is the binance effect that you see over here i believe it was about three to four hundred percent okay maybe i'm wrong 239 percent okay but as you can see this is why okay it got listed on binance so that may bring a lot more volume in to Fala going forward currently sitting at around 67 cents approximately so definitely not one to sleep on i'm glad that we were right about that i actually got that from um another youtuber okay otherwise before that it wasn't on my radar but i saw sheldon evans he's a big youtuber he's got like 300,000 subscribers or something like that i saw him talk about fala and that put that on my radar of course did my own research and found that you know what what he was saying about that token was absolutely right it was a good token to get into and i made some great profits on fala okay so i can't complain but i would have made even greater gains if i would have been still holding this if i even thought that it was anywhere near being listed on binance so shouts out to Binance for that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see some, you know, I, I didn't see any, I haven't seen any, um, you know, news about it. No upcoming listing about it to say, you know, normally Binance will have like a, a an announcement to say Fala will list soon or something like that. But I haven't seen anything, right? I, I must have, you know, if they did put something, I definitely missed it. All right, guys, but nothing, right? Nothing. I can't see anything there. Okay, if we view more. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that. Okay, we're going to see a lot more of these stealth launches on Binance. Okay, they're not announcing it. Look, they really didn't announce it. Okay, so that is a little bit annoying because if they did announce it, we could have been prepared for that. Okay, right, they, they, they announced it. They just announced that they listed it. All right, in the innovation zone. Let's see this because I haven't actually seen this until now. So Binance will list Fala in the innovation zone with open trading for BTC and BUSD pairs. Yeah. And it explains what Fala network is. So I didn't see that, okay? And there was no big poster to announce that or anything like that. But there you go, Fala network. Congratulations to those that were still holding Fala. Like I said before, if, we, if you ever see a move like that, right? Not financial advice, right? But if you ever see a large one daily candle that looks completely out of the ordinary, like that you know it's a good time to take profits okay it's a good time to take profits you can always buy back in lower okay and increase your position so yeah that's a lesson to be learned all right and um yeah i think that's about it for now guys do me a favor youtube likes to censor cryptocurrency content so tick the little bell if you're not subscribed as well subscribe and when you tick the little bell you'll be able to get these videos as soon as they come out that definitely helps out the channel definitely like the videos as well that helps with the algorithm gets more people seeing the videos it sends a message to youtube and tells them look or tells the algorithm look this guy is trending these videos are trending people are talking about it. they're engaging with it they're leaving comments they're liking the videos they're subscribing and then what they do is they promote the channel a little bit more okay so i'm currently around five thousand three hundred subscribers or something like that all right guys let's get me to ten thousand. all right guys help out the channel okay it, don't, it doesn't actually cost anything for you to subscribe all right guys but i really need your support and i do appreciate all of your support all those that are subscribed already leave your comments guys that definitely helps the community engagement on the channel really helps guys and i really need your help 
to take this channel to the next level all right 10,000 subscribers will be the next milestone for me okay but uh do appreciate all of the support guys uh that's about it i will see you in the next video